Before I take you on my first ramble, I'd like to give you some background. Many years ago, when I was a student at Princeton University, I would frequently visit New York City. On one of my visits, I met a very, very charming lady musician. On my first date with her, I asked her, would you please do me a favor? I'm to make a statement. If the statement is true, would you give me your autograph? So I don't see why not. So if the statement is false, you don't give me your autograph. All right. So remember, a true statement gets an autograph. A false statement does not. That's very important. Well, the statement I made was, you will give me neither your autograph nor a kiss. Now let's analyze this very carefully. If the statement were true, she would have to give me her autograph as agreed. But giving me her autograph would falsify the statement that she could be neither her autograph or a kiss. So therefore, it's a contradiction to assume the statement is true. The statement can't be true, it must be false. Since it's false that she'll give me neither, she has to give me either, either her autograph or a kiss. But she can't give me an autograph for a false statement. That was the rule which she agreed to. Therefore, she owed me a kiss. It was a pretty, <clears throat> a pretty sneaky way of getting a kiss, wasn't it? Well, what happened next is even more interesting. Instead of collecting the kiss, I suggest we play for double or nothing. She, being a good sport, agreed. So she soon owed me two kisses, then four, then eight, with another trick, 16. Things kept es doubling and escalating and doubling and escalating. And before I knew it, I was married. <laughs> and so I've been married to this charming, to Blanche, this charming lady musician, for 48 years. And we built our home in 1966 in the beautiful Catskill Mountains, the upper part of the Catskills. And my first ramble shall be through the Catskill Mountain region. This ramble's uh, I appropriately called a Schubertian Catskill ramble because of the fact that for musical background, I'll be playing you some Schubert. The, uh, a MoMA musical, the second one in A-flat major. The ramble starts out from our house and takes off from there.
Before I take you on my next ramble, I want to show some photographs taken at two conferences I recently attended, very interesting conferences consisting of mathematicians, puzzle makers, and magicians. For background music, I'll be playing you a some Bach, a prelude and fugue from the Well-Tempered Clavier, Book One, the one in G sharp minor. These, uh, by the way, these photographs are the, uh, were taken by members of the conference, and are the only photographs that I did not take. All the other photographs in this video are mine. At these conferences, I was incredibly busy, unbelievably busy, as you will see.